Okay guys, so it is 11 o'clock right now. We just um, dropped off the baby about a half hour ago. Um, and now we're on our way. We've got about three hours uh, of drive left until we get to the airport. So I'll update you on the way. So it is like 2.20. We just barely got to the airport. We parked out here and now we're heading into uh well, we're heading towards the airport. We we parked in like the outdoor parking so it's kinda of far away. So we're just going to um do that and then we will be um going to security and then finding our gate. So it is um Sorry. It is almost seven. We just got into our um the suite at the hotel. Um I wasn't able to really videotape at all on the pl on the flight because the plane over here was really small. It was just a regional jet. And then uh we were just caught up in looking and stuff while when our driver picked us up. So the driver was super awesome. He took us through a lot of side roads so we could see like some really nice houses and some of the uh movie studios and stuff and uh yeah so i'm just going to give you a little tour of the <laughs> i'm just going to give you a little tour of the seat okay so this is just coming in from our door this is the like living room area oh here, nice little couch and chair and then there's a tv and a fireplace, which turns on. That's pretty cool. And then there's a little desk and a chair. A little breakfast area. And then there's a, um, little balcony outside. And here's a little kitchen, a little tiny stove. Microwave, fridge, and everything is all spot, so you can just eat it and um, they just charge it to your room. And then there's a little window that opens up. Back over this way is the bed. And there's a TV up there, a little mirror, and then in here is the bathroom, the robe, can't really see it, I don't know where the light is, oh, there we go, a little robe, and bye, and then over here, the sink, some towels, and then just like the toilet and the tub. So, anyways, that's it. We're um, we're about, we're gonna go down to the restaurant that's on the hotel or in the hotel. Um, we just got back from the restaurant. I am in a ridiculously Fuzzy robe. It's pretty hilarious. I kind of like it though. It's nice. Um, anyways, at the recommendation of one of the girls I know that goes to the same agency as I did, um, or I am, he told me to go check out the rooftop, and it was nice. They've got like a really nice spa there and um, like a heated pool. So we're gonna go for a swim. Okay, so it is six in the morning on Thursday. And um, the alarm just woke me up, so um, I'm going to go get ready to go. Um, Glenn's still asleep. He, he takes like two minutes to get ready, so. Um, and then we will be calling for our um, taxi at about 7, so we can get there in time. Um, so we got an hour to get ready, so anyway. Hey guys, so it is 6.40 right now, um, I'm all dressed and ready, we've got a couple minutes to kill before, um, 
we called down for our taxi. They told us to um, call for the taxi 10 minutes before we want to be here and then allow 45 minutes to um, get to where we need to go. So um, we will call about 20 minutes. So I guess we'll just watch on TV for a little bit. And Hi guys. Um, <clears throat> I hope you can see me okay and I hope I'm not like cut off funny. I think I'm like right center but oh, it is um, like 9.15 in the morning on the 1st. We got home we got in last night at like 12.30, 12.35, we went and picked up the baby, um, and we just grabbed the baby in his diaper bag, we didn't grab all the other stuff, we have to go up again today to do that, and we just came home and we all just laid in bed and walked out, um, it was so great to see the baby after all of it, um, yeah, so I realize this, this is probably going to be in two parts, which you guys probably already know, since you're watching it. So, the last time I was really able to update you was that yesterday morning when we got up in the hotel room, we were gonna get ready and all that stuff. Um, since then, oh my gosh, we just didn't have, I at least, just didn't have time to update. Like, I was trying to update on Facebook when I could, so if you guys follow me there, you kind of already know, like, what happened. We got there like a half hour early and uh, so we were just kind of standing outside of their suite and they're up on like the 13th floor so it's pretty high up and uh, we're just standing there and there it's like uh, there's these closed doors in front of you with a sign that says growing generation. Yeah, girl that worked there came and she let us in. She got me started on the psych test. And she told me it usually takes like an hour, hour and a half. And it took me about a half hour. Uh, I read pretty fast, so I've always tested fairly fast. Um, and that was actually rereading some of the things. Um, the test wasn't as intimidating as I thought it would be. It was more just long. There was... And I could be wrong on the exact number, but I want to say there was like 567 questions. And a lot of it, like, some of it was really basic, you know, like, do you hear voices? And it was all true or false, so false. You know, like, um, do you believe that you are being guided by spirits and ghosts around you? Like, true or false, you know. And, um, <clears throat> and there were other ones that were just asked, like, repetitively, but in different ways. Like... Do you feel that your memory is as good as it used to be? And then you say true or false. So I was like, true. And then like eight questions later, I'd be like, do you find that you forget things more easily now? And you're like, I just answered that. So that was the only thing. Like I, I every once in a while, I kind of had to like reread it because it was just like worded a little funny, and I was like, okay, wait. We finished it. They were super nice. I mean, they. The whole trip really was just really smooth, like they had planned it really well, we didn't have to like do anything other than be at the appointment, you know, it wasn't hard, like we didn't make any of the plans, we didn't even ever have to call our own taxi, like somebody called it for us. And we uh, got through all that, uh, we met with the psychologist, which is actually one of the co-founders, there's um, a lady and a man that founded Growing Generations, and um, we met with her, and um, we weren't we weren't thinking we were going to be able to meet with her because she was out of the country. That's why we had that phone call a while back um, to kind of have a little come hurt that part of the the trip with her. We just had it early. She talked to us uh, just a little bit, like not very long. It was more just kind of like a chat, like she didn't really ask us many questions because she had already asked us everything, you know, so she was just kind of explaining who she was and what she did and like where the process went from here, you know, and um, and then she told us that she, uh, she looked over my uh, MMPI right there, like I wasn't, 
like I finished the MPI, we waited like 10 minutes for um, her to be available. She was on a phone call. And then we uh, walked, or we went into her little living room. <laughs> it was like some, you know, some couches and stuff. And uh, we talked, and like three minutes into the conversation, she got like the results of the the psych test back. So she looked over that right then, and she said that it looked perfect. So that was a big stress reliever. She gave us our psych clearing, and then she kind of explained like, okay, now you're going to go to the... Um, medical doctor portion of it. Okay, so she kind of explained to us like what the next part was going to be about and um, the whole meeting was supposed to take like uh, about two hours and it only took us an hour. Like we got in, I did the test, we talked to her, it was only nine o'clock and I didn't have to be at the appointment until eleven. So um, we, um, I asked her like where a good restaurant was and she recommended one that's like right in the same building like on the bottom floor it's called gourmet bites it's really good anyways um we finished um breakfast about like 9 40 or so and then um we kind of walked around the city block. I mean, we didn't have a time to walk around a lot of places, but we walked around and got some pictures. Left our bags up at Growing Generations, and we went back up, grabbed our bags. They called the taxi for us. They gave us um, two vouchers, and um, like one took us to the doctors, and one took us from the doctors to the airport. Uh, got in the taxi. That was the only bad part of the trip. This taxi driver was crazy, and I'm sure like <laughs> I actually got warned that, um, by Jagged Rambling, because I mentioned her a couple times, <laughs> that, um, the taxi drivers were crazy, and we only had, like, one really crazy one, but he didn't signal at all, he just kind of, like, darted everywhere, and he didn't have the air conditioning on, my, like, Glenn and I were roasting, and, like, we kept rolling down the windows, and then he'd roll them back up, and you'd see him, like, press the air conditioning button, and you could, you could hear that it was going up there, but it was not going in the back of the car. I don't get really car sick but with all the weaving back and forth in the lanes and the stop and the go and roasting by the time we were at the doctor's clinic you know I was just done um, <laughs> we got to the clinic at 1040 so we were like 20 minutes early uh, we went in signed signed in so um, we had just barely sat down in the um, waiting room and I like reached up to feel my ears and I was missing my earrings and I wouldn't have cared if they were just like cheapy Walmart ones but they're my grandmother's these ones right here they're my grandmother's and they're like really old and they're real so um I, I was freaking out a little and I was trying to like be calm because we were in like a really nice you know atmosphere it was like a fertility clinic it wasn't just like a shabby doctor's office, you know. So I'm sitting there, and like, what's the matter? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I lost, I lost the earrings. I don't know where I did. I think they're at the hotel still. And we had already did, like, we did, like, two walkthroughs to make sure we didn't leave anything. But they blended in with the countertops of the hotel. And, yeah, so I left them. So, um, I'm on the phone with, um, the hotel as the, um, Growing Generations representative comes out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, did you find my earrings? And, you know, they're like, oh, we'll call you back after we look. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I hang up and she was like, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, and she introduces herself and it was really neat, actually. Um, her position's a new position. She's only been in it for like three months. Before that, there was no position. And it just kind of, she is, she works for growing generations, but she's based out of the doctor's office. So when you get there, she kind of coordinates all that. That's another part that made it so smooth. Like, she walked us to each room. She told us what we were going to do. You know, she went through all the paperwork with us. And she actually just had a surrogate baby herself, like, in September. So she kind of shared some of her stories with us, which was awesome. So we get into her office, and the phone rings. And I'm kind of talking to her. And so my husband answers, and they found my earrings, and they'll have it at the front desk, but I was a little white panicked, because I don't know how they're going to get back to there, because the voucher that they gave us was only for, from here to the airport, and it was, or from the clinic to the airport, 
and the hotel was kind of like not on the way at all. So um, she was like, oh, don't worry, you know, we'll figure it out. We won't want you to lose something like that. So while we were doing all of our doctor's things, she was wonderful and she figured out all things and got like two vouchers for us so we could stop by there and the taxi just waited for a second while I ran in and grabbed him and ran back out. Um, so it was really great. Anyways, got the earrings. <laughs> So um, we went through all the papers in her office and she had like some little like snacks that she gave us and then um, kind of went through like the process of the day, you know, like okay first you're going to go give blood and a urine sample, then you're going to go talk to the doctor, then you're going to go do this, you know. So she went through that, she walked us down to the um, phlebotomist part of it and um, we gave her urine samples and then we got directed to the doctor's office, like his office office. And um, he came in like a minute or two later and talked, was talking to us and gave us like um, all this information on and like pictures about like what was going to happen. The little folder they gave me, very official, full of like tons of paperwork. Um, of, like the whole process of it, like there's pictures like, okay, this is what. Um, the donor's ovar ovaries look like, and this is the follicles, and this is the eggs, and this is what happens when the sperm meets the egg, and all that kind of stuff. And then there's like pictures of um, the actual embryo transfer. And so we went through all that. He asked just some basic questions like, you know, when we had surgeries, um, if we, uh, like what birth control we used, that sort of thing. And then right after that, he took us to the Sano. Oh, he explained this. He explained this next coming part too. Um, he took us to the Sano histogram room, which was ultrasound. <laughs> if you are easily grossed out, skip ahead a little bit. But I'm gonna kind of explain what they did. So um, we went into the room. They did like the. And this doctor was great. Like as far as OB GYN doctors go, I've never had like a better experience as like with female checkups. So um, I get on the table. We do the the pap smear portion of it, and then um, he's like talking to me, and I'm like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna do the other part. We're gonna ha we're gonna insert like a little catheter into the uterus. We're gonna fill it up with water, kind of like a balloon. Um, so we can see, and I'm like, oh, okay, and I'm just, like, waiting for something to happen, and he's like, oh, do you feel kind of, like, a little bit of pressure, and I was like, just a little, and I mean, it was like, I had to concentrate to feel anything, and I'm, like, waiting, and I'm like, oh, a little pressure, and he says, oh, well, that was catheter going in, and the water filling up, and I was like, really? I, seriously, I didn't feel anything, so, uh, <sighs> we... He like turned the screen so I could see and he was kind of showing me like what he was looking for and he looked at both my ovaries and they were great and they didn't have any um, any problems, any cysts or anything like that and he showed me like follicles which I'm still a little fuzzy on, I'm not really sure what they are but he, he showed me my follicles and uh, I had good follicles and <laughs> then he went to the uterus and it was filled up with it and um, it was kind of neat because um, you you saw like as she injected a little bit more water you could just see it kind of like balloon up. Okay so he looked at that and he said that I had a beautiful uh, uterus that there was absolutely no scar tissue there was um, and I had like great lining I guess and all the edges were smooth. <laughs> It was really funny hearing like an internal body part, you know, kind of described like that. Like, oh, your uterus is beautiful. It's got really smooth lines. <laughs> he said he doesn't see any reason why the embryos wouldn't implant really well. So, um, yeah, and then he was like, okay, you're going to feel like a little gush and took everything out. And then like, it was just perfect. And he was like, okay, well, um. After you're all ready, just go into the room in the corner and I'll come talk to you, and someone's going to come talk to you. So, um, he left, the nurse left, I, um, I had a dress on, so I pulled down my dress and then we were gone. And, um, I went to the little room and, and we waited a little bit. That was probably the longest wait we had and it wasn't that bad, it was like 10 minutes. 
uh, one of the nurses come in, she's actually one of two coordinators, and they are what kind of takes care of you throughout the rest of your, like, once you're matched, they kind of take care of, like, the cycle and, like, your pregnancy and stuff. So, I was kind of explained, like, you know, we have a couple of the the higher up people in growing generations at first, you know, that were emailing and getting all, everything scheduled. And then we have um, the girl that I met, um, the, the girl with the new position. Uh, we have her for like a little tiny bit um, to where we can contact her. And then we have our coordinator. And the lady I met now is my current coordinator, but if I match with a couple who's currently under the care of the other coordinator, I'll go to her. So, um, everybody gave me their numbers, like the doctor gave me his cell phone number, so, you know, it was great. And, um, so she explained the med portion of it, and then she, um, gave me a prescription for a new birth control. Um, the doctor doesn't like the kind of birth control that I'm on. I'll show you. Um, this birth control... Um, only, well, maybe I'll show you. This birth control only has one color. Of the, so all the pills are the exact same hormone dosage. So, um, like there's all these pink ones, and then there's four peach ones. And the four peach ones are sugar pills. So sometime in that period of those four pills, I will get my period. <laughs> And then um, the rest of them are just all one color. Whereas the ones I'm taking, like, the first line is white, and the second line is light blue, and the third line is dark blue, and then I've got seven days of the placebo pills. So, anyways, she wanted me to start on this, and I'm supposed to finish my current cycle of pills. So I've got, um, like, three weeks left of that, and then I'll start these. It's stapled into here. Oh, and then the rest of these papers is all fairly basic. Like, um, these are all copies of papers I had to sign. Uh, the doctor, like, circled everything, so, um, they, he explained that they're going to be checking my, um, endometrium, which is what they did, um, to see the lining. And then, um, the, uh, this is the egg donor's uh, ovary with follicles and then they give her estrogen to produce tons of eggs and then um, sperm is injected into the egg and makes little happy embryo baby time I don't know if you can see this and then um, it's taken out of the uh, egg donor and she's out for like 15 minutes it's um, under anesthesia and then she just walk, gets up and goes home and then they're placed into me much like um, it was much like the, um, the little water part of the thing was done they'll insert like a little catheter they'll shoot them up in there I stay at the clinic laying down for an hour and then I'm on bed rest for the rest of the day and then I can leave the next day the other thing they did was um, give me this book, and um, it's just like organized patient education, and it's just got like all the questions you could ask about it, and explains it, it even explains the um, like the injections and how you're going to go about doing those. Um, so after all that was explained to us, um, they we went back to the um, the first girl's office. We picked up all of our stuff. She gave us um, two the sorry the two vouchers. We got there. We found our gate. We ate. Then we just walked back up and we kind of hung out um, right by the the gate.
Are you excited to be going home? <laughs> The flight back was really nice, very smooth, like we didn't hit any turbulence at all. There was a little in-house or in-flight TV, you know, on back of the, which is new to me, I've never flown Delta, I've always flown like Southwest, so uh, the little TVs were kind of new to me. And you could watch movies if you wanted to, um, they had like different prices. There was free satellite TV and I would love to do that except I didn't bring any earphones so I was watching like a silent movie. <laughs> so um, yeah that was about it. The only bad experiences I had, everything was great, the only bad experience was a crazy crab driver going to the doctor's office and on the flight back there was a sick kid in front of us and it kept throwing up and throwing up it was ugh. Anyway, so I'm really excited. They told us that the uh, medical will be back in like seven days, the blood test. So um, they will send a release over to growing and then they will start sending me, uh, well they'll send me my first profile. So I feel like we could be like matching really soon. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, so, um, I will update you guys again when I know more. Bye!